two, one, <laughs> tick. Hi guys. Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to our YouTube channel. That's right. Welcome back to another video. My mm -hmm. name is Mayanda. My name is Luyanda. And together we are the Macapellas. <laughs> <laughs> the Yanders. Thank you very much. You actually put that as a hashtag. The Yanders. Um, suggestion for a new name for the channel. I don't know. But anyways. Yo, we might there. just change our name, right? guys. Because. Right. Yeah. Yeah, we think we feel like the Yanders is more it's more relatable, more relatable, young, more fresh as opposed to the cups and sauces. But we are still the cups and sauces. Definitely, yes. And um, because our out. surname is Macapella. Mm -hmm. Guys, my surname is Macapella now. For your shirt official. Yeah. She probably changed my Instagram name. But yes, um Hi guys. New new um subscribers. Yes, guys, new subscribers, thank you guys so much. Uh we see our numbers are rising gradually and authentically and yeah. organically we love it thank you guys so much we love you and we appreciate all the support that you guys give us on our youtube channel we yeah. see that our wedding video has a lot of hits shout out to that yeah, one yeah so we probably should be talking about the wedding more often yeah yeah, yeah. It seems, it seems you guys like those, seem those, to those, like those that those topics are very relatable to you yeah. guys so that's that's great but today if you focus center today we're going to do a sit down video uh, we're just going to reflect basically on 2022 and yeah. 2023. I think it's the best time to do a reflection video because I think um, Vele, we officially start the year in February, guys. Let's yeah, be honest. January is like We officially a... start the year in February. January, we're still trying to find our feet. So yeah. we're just going to do a sit-down video for you guys today. And then uh, I think later we're going to shoot some other content as well because your brother uh, is heading out soon. So... Gonna make sure that we sort that up. But anyways, let's get back to. I was gonna say, let's point actually start the video. Hand. Yeah. <laughs> um. So twenty twenty two, in hindsight, it was a good year. When I look back at it now, yeah. I'm like, oh, what an amazing year! I started my first job. Um. Oliander left for Turkey. Left yes. for a contract in Turkey. Yes. Um. We had a wedding. We did. Um. Our baby turned two. We did. In July, like a lot happened. But I think in the moment it felt very overwhelming and yeah. very like yeah. I wasn't appreciative of that stage of our life. Yeah. And I think that's the energy I kind of want to go into 2023 with. Just being more appreciative of the stage the that we're in and not trying to rush to the next stage. I think mm. in 2023 I just want to take things a little slower and like, you know, just appreciate that. Like that savor that stage, yeah. the moment. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's, that's. That's a nice way to kick off this video reflection. Yeah. Just to savor the moment. <clears throat> um, I think one thing for me, you know, out of everything that she that my wife mentioned, um Your wife. Yes. My <laughs> wife. <laughs> uh I think another reflective moment was just for me to be more gentle, you know, towards myself, towards my wife, towards my son. You know, because um, <clears throat> I've seen how that can just make someone very toxic. Mm. You know, um, being rough. You know what I'm saying? And not well. Let's maybe clarify: not yeah. rough physically, but yeah, rough yeah, yeah. in the way you speak, your approach. tone, your approach to yeah. things, your strategy in life. It's very rough and very like, mm. like you know, there's no moment to kind of like just yeah, just yeah. to be nicer. I think, yeah. More gentler, more kinder, mm. you know. But it starts with me, you know. And then I should reciprocate that to yeah. those who. If you're gentle, if you're more gentle towards yourself, yeah. it's easier to kind of check out that. Yeah, yeah. but um, I think for me, 2022 in within the year was really hard. Like I mentioned, in hindsight, now that I look back at it, I'm like, I think I hurt my knee again. I think I did. For you to go back to. <laughs> come back um and now that i look back at it i'm like that was such a beautiful year like so many things that we had prayed for god mm. had answered in 2022 mm -hmm. so we were living in answered prayers in 2022 mm -hmm. but it was so difficult within the year like the year felt long mm. for me it felt <sighs> there were so many new things um, like parenting without you because mm -hmm. he was gone. Um, I think at the beginning of the year there was a lot of uncertainty because we weren't sure if you we were gonna go or, or not. not. Yeah. We were sure I was gonna have a job, but we weren't sure if you were gonna go or not. 
um so we just started planning the wedding either way yeah, yeah, yeah. and then a contract came um like mid Hallelujah. feb mid yeah. march, march yeah. yeah and a contract came for him and then it was like okay we're planning this wedding we started planning this wedding. we found yeah. a venue what are we gonna do now kind of and what was what were your thoughts then? my plan was for us to obviously uh fund for the wedding mm -hmm. um in totality uh <laughs> both of us because i think um my main drive mm -hmm. uh, i think in 2022 was just to uh for my family to be in a more um alleviated f or let me say in a more better position financially mm -hmm. um so that we were able to provide not just for the wedding itself but for yeah. after as well yeah you know uh because weddings take up a lot of time and money mm -hmm. um effort you know emotions as well i mean i can only imagine how it was for my wife when i was not here you know planning the whole wedding while she was parenting as well so it yeah 2022 felt like a very tough year but like my wife said in hindsight you know when we look at it yeah uh, in the new year you know we got to accomplish a lot of things mm -hmm. um i think it's something that people do a lot uh, as couples you know like vision boards we have vision boards in our mind like yeah we don't time. have the yeah, actual like the actual thing we don't do the actual I, I for me it's it's more of a i think i i'm trying to say <laughs> this i don't offend the vision board committee hey, yeah, yeah, yeah um but i for me I, I think it's great i think it's a great concept um, but I'm more of, I want to write down my goals. Sure. And uh, instead of having, I'm more of like, I want handwritten, like, mm. this is what I'm I'm going for. And not necessarily putting a bunch of pictures together. Visuals. Because for me, probably that board, I'll never see it again after the day I do it. Yes. Uh, just That's just my personality. Um, and yeah, and I know people now do it more um, on their phones, digitally, mm. on their phones, on their laptops. Yeah. But... Yeah, it's just not for me right now. Maybe maybe in the future I'll go into it. I'm not opposed to it. I think it's a great idea. Yeah. But it's not me right now. But anyway, back to 2022. Yeah. So there was that. Then you left for Turkey. Yes. Um, and I was living at home with our son and my parents. Mm -hmm. um, Shout out to the folks. You did a really good job in taking care of ourselves for the first two years. Mm. Two and a half? Two? One and a half? You get the point, guys. Mm, yeah something like that <laughs> but um yeah so we so i was living with my parents at home with our son and i was working i was doing i was working from home and um, probably going to the office at that time maybe once a week um but we were still working from home majority of that and we were in turkey mm -hmm. and how was your first month you know what guys i'm not honest you know? um it was okay I think as the months went by, that's when things got to get tough, you know. Um, I'll just, I'll just um, pick a moment in 2022 where it actually got tough. Uh, where I was staying, the Wi-Fi was really terrible. So <laughs> communication with my wife was really hard and she needed me most of the times, you know, not just for the planning of the wedding um, and not just for parenting but just for her to feel like she's wanted you know um and so because i mean lost the long distance is, is it affects us like really hard because we spend most of our time together i mean after marriage we spend a lot of time together so, so it's going to be difficult so it's, to yeah so it's, it's going to be a bit it's going to be a bit uh challenging you know being away from um my wife and my son uh, for long periods of time, I think I'm working towards making it a shorter period, so that at least I. So he's not planning to stop traveling, y'all. Yeah. I mean, I hope y'all hear that. I want to travel with her. I mean, the point is. I work. How am I gonna travel with you? No, I mean we can take some some days. Some Cause days just fall from the sky. Just. Yeah. No, but on on a serious note, I think I hear what you're saying. Yeah, I wasn't tense by the way. Anyways, oh. so <laughs> sorry. <laughs> 
Yes, so it was really hard for us to communicate, um, you know, household issues. You know, having to always try and uh, connect through to someone else's phone or to wait for a particular time for me to communicate with her when, you know, she wanted to communicate something at a particular time and I couldn't. So there'll be a lot of like uh, quarrels, not to say at each other, but because we are not in each other's presence to actually uh, relay the message to us in a way that will understand it. Uh, from the get go, so that was. A and my husband is a bad texter, to be honest. Terrible, like just terrible, putting yeah. it out there, he's I'm horrible. Sure. Like when we started dating, my husband would call me beloved, and like she, she'd be like, yeah, I don't know. Ah, beloved, terrible. guys, beloved for me is like Bible vibes, like someone who, like the people that someone who's passed away has left behind. That's beloved for me. So when you say beloved, it's like. Okay, but wait. Let's put a pin in that. Is it still terrible now? Yes. Wow. Yes. Okay. Comment down below if you guys think <laughs> your significant other, your boyfriend, or whatever, or your fling, or whatever, the communication calls mm -hmm. you beloved, and you would be okay with that. No, but just no, to no, comment down that. below. Let's let's about communication, not beloved. People have. Oh, oh. Yeah. Is your communication <laughs> still bad? bad? That's what I'm asking. <laughs> Via text. Yes. Um, it's okay now. <laughs> I think I've just got. <laughs> No, I think I've just gotten used to it. I think I think I just kind of, you know, just kind of found my place. Okay. And I think having uh, spending so much time together now, more than we did then. Yeah. Um, I know his cues. I know how he speaks. I know how he communicates. So, translated to text, I kind of know. I kind of have a vibe. She has decoded. Of like, <laughs> I kind of have a sense of like what you're trying to say or like. If he's trying to be sweet, like I, I kind of get that vibe yeah. because now I know, like I've spent time with you more, and like yeah. I think I've just, yeah, I've just kind of, yeah. But that was just one of the things, you know, communication and uh, just physical touch, you know. Physical touch. Just put a pin right there because, mm. I, my friend Ozaza, you probably, you guys probably know her by now, but like my friend asked me the other day she was like I, like how do you do this long distance thing when your love language is physical touch, touch. like your your first love language is physical yes. touch and she was like you probably need to retake the test because your first love language is probably not physical touch mm. if you can go like six months without being physically connected to your person yeah. um i agree and disagree with that um I think when you have a purpose mm. and like we we know what like we know what we're working towards <laughs> we know what we're working towards yeah. and we we know that this is the way that we can do it mm. having such diverse careers i mean yeah. he's a musician yeah and i'm just a corporate, corporate girl. girl so full -time. hopefully um, full time so um he's distracting me <laughs> so i cannot get a point through yeah but um um if what was i saying you were purpose. saying purpose purpose we have goals and we've got financial goals mm -hmm. and 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 spiritual goals mm -hmm. and emotional goals and family goals and external family when i say external family that's outside of me you and mm -hmm. family i mean like now our parents and our you know siblings and that so we've got those kind of goals that we are working towards and i think sometimes that takes precedence mm -hmm. it's i'm not saying it's more important but at some point in life um you kind of take away from your feelings mm -hmm. you kind of put your feelings aside for this specific goal it's the same way if you want to lose weight you're not going to be thinking about oh i hate my body mm -hmm. um oh, i hate he eating healthy uh like you're not going to be tapped into emotions like that you're going to want to change your mindset sort of you want to work with your mindset and kind of like i get to eat healthy food sure. to you know put nutrients into my body i'm mm -hmm. feeding i'm fueling my body instead of kind of going with your emotions mm -hmm. and i think sometimes it's about that it's about we have goals as a married couple as individuals as parents as a son as a daughter mm -hmm. um and and sometimes those those kind of have to take precedence mm, true just to add on that um i think another thing that uh, my wife just actually opened up was the fact that you know 
because we have those goals um, and they are split into so many different aspects you know there's individual individualism there's um communism and then there's uh external family and spirituality mm -hmm. all those things you know which is something that we've actually been uh introduced to beginning of this year you know i think a lot of the services that we attend would speak to those things so mm -hmm. it's it's so nice to reflect on the fact that certain things are just placed in your life when you are purpose driven and goal driven that when you wake up in the morning you know you don't have to essentially decide what you want to do like these mm -hmm. things are just in your path so you just basically um prepare yourself and equip yourself to actually follow into those things mm -hmm. you know so i mean like i had mentioned um we don't have vision boards but uh, a lot of the plans and goals that we have we always write down in fact we always have uh, sessions a strat together. meeting yeah strat meetings very important which are, i think oh, life-saving those things mm -hmm. um where we discuss our goals and all our purposes and put them all into one bag and see how we realistically can achieve those goals and maybe we'll talk about that in a different video yeah but we basically just kind of have a meeting like a set meeting like we'll say on this date this day at this mm. time we're yeah. gonna have the meeting a strike meeting and we kind of just sit and talk you know about yeah. the things that are on our hearts the things that the holy spirit has kind of placed on our hearts and that we want to look into this year mm -hmm. um and then just natural like financial goals and um the things that we need to do financially the, mm -hmm. the needs and the things that we want to do financially mm -hmm. um and then we kind of make it more realistic like okay we have all these things we want to do but what can we achieve within mm -hmm. this year within this 12 months what can we actually achieve and we kind of trim it down so that we're not putting a lot on our plate True. but we're also not downsizing um everything yeah. that we need to do so we'll probably do a, vid a different video on that but in, in essence that's what we do so that's how we start off the year that's how we start off i think every quarter mm. every three to four months we kind of go and back stretch. to it and we're like yeah. okay oh, let's fine. sit down how are we doing and 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 that kind of thing but um so you left for turkey back to yes. 2022 you left for turkey you were in turkey for a while i had started i started my job in feb mm -hmm. um and how's that feeling for you so far so it's been people... good it's been good i i love what i'm doing um and uh, i have i have the best like i have the best mentor the best boss like the best team honestly such sweet people and i was saying to god the other day like i like you know when he just plans everything mm -hmm. and kind of just you know um yeah i'm i'm having i'm having fun i'm a little anxious this year which we'll get to but I'm a little anxious this year because my contract comes to an end soon. Um, I'm not gonna say the date because I don't wanna. I don't wanna. I want. Don't want it to come to an end. I want. I want God to do something big there. So, um, but yeah, I'm. I'm having a good time. But anyway, so I started the job. Um, fast forward to maybe let's say four to five months later. Mm -hmm. This was maybe two months before you came home. July. Yeah. Let's say July. Mm -hmm. August, September. Yes. Two months before you came home. So the mother turned two. It was the first it was his second birthday like on earth, but Leander was not there. So what did we even do? I think we ordered cake. Yeah. Toys. Yeah, we just got him toys and there was cake and yeah, his birthdays have been kind of chill since yeah, I his first birthday. Because his first birthday also wasn't anything big. Yeah. Like it was very Also like there was a plan behind that because we assumed that our child wouldn't be able to remember, remember yeah. um, if we were to do anything epic. Not to say that uh, parents who are doing anything big things for their kids like, out no, there. No, we love that. No, that's great. We just thought that for our child, because um, we're still getting to know him or he's still getting to learn mm -hmm. himself. You know, we just felt that, you know, let's just have family, family you know, yeah, people who are friends. close, you know, yeah. um, that he needs to make relationships with anyways. You know, so when he reaches a certain age, then we can, you know, 
starting finding and friends and, yeah. and now that he's at Craig, it's gonna be something that we're gonna start Much looking better. into yeah. um because this year we have to do party packs which i'm so excited for mm -hmm. i'm so excited mm -hmm. um but yeah so he had his first birthday we didn't do anything big we just we had a cake made this mm -hmm. year was coco melon his first year was um um wildlife yeah, yeah like elephant and like that kind of vibes and then um and then uh, i thought we had the elephant here it was based off the fact that he had a lot of teddy bears that were yeah. elephants yeah. yeah so um second year was coco melon because he's obsessed um i don't know what we're gonna do this year yeah no we'll see we'll see, we'll see. We'll see. but yeah so he had his second birthday and that was tough for me because yeah he wasn't there. Was I th there. Yeah. I think that was the, the tough part. But okay, fast forward September, you came home. Yes. We're skipping a lot of things, actually. There was a lot of emotional, like. I mean. Like, down bad, guys. I was down bad, honestly. Yeah, yeah. There was a time he had to, like. Well, he didn't have to, but I was really sad. And he. Him and his friends kind of wrote, um, I love you on, like, the sand, like, uh, at the mm. beach. Yeah. And took a picture of that. And that was nice. That kind of lifted my spirits. Gotcha. Um. But yeah, I <laughs> go the extra mile. Uh, but yeah, I'll just just touch on what she's saying. Um, th there were a lot of ups and downs, guys. I don't want to sit. I don't want us to sit here and um let you guys know that it was a smooth uh, um journey. It was really hot. Mm -hmm. Um, I think there were times where we were really at each other's necks to a point where we just like, you know what? Uh. We just hope that what we're doing it's all worth it not to say i want to let everything go and mm -hmm. i'm throwing in the towel no as in hard fall but it needs to be worth it and i think looking at it right now i think everything that we did or everything that we went through so was just it. to make us better people um mindful better partners yes uh, much more stronger you know um i mean from time to time you know she will mention that uh she gets a bit sad especially when it gets to the time when i need to leave so we make sure that we maximize the time that we have in terms of going out you know uh, making more meaningful relationships and conversations with ourselves and other people as well but mainly and i just, follow him everywhere basically. yeah so that's what he's trying to do yeah we're just, we're just we're just trying to maximize the time that we have with each other for now which is something that was learned during my time away when I was in Turkey and whilst I was working. Um, yeah, also the dynamic of us working in separate careers, uh, not having to <laughs> clash. I think it's also a blessing in disguise because uh, we get that personal time to work on the things that we want to do as a couple. Mm -hmm. um, you know, um, when she's in the office, it's just me at, it's just me here in the house mm -hmm. when i'm on a gig um when I'm she can't make it him. she's probably <laughs> with me or she's here at the house you know um so we just try to minimize a lot of the times where we are alone um when we can be together because we're gonna here's my thought we're gonna be separate for six months right so the other six months we might as well pack in as much quality time and physical time and just time together as we can um without compromising our career so yeah during the week if he doesn't have a rehearsal or a gig he's probably with me like i'm working but he's probably around you know um and if he has a gig i'm probably with him um but i do think 2023 is gonna be a little harder yeah because now that we've spent we've spent every waking moment like guys we spend 24 7 like we're together all the time so it's gonna be more difficult to have him away yeah, um separation anxiety. anxiety yeah yeah um but there there are bigger things in that there are bigger things that we want to achieve mm. than to like sit in our feelings about separation oh, anxiety yeah. also i married him knowing his career i married him knowing that he travels so really this this was thought out I mean, you, as thought out as it can be, you can't really, See, until you're in the situation, yeah. Yeah, you can't really, but it was as thought out as it could be. So I was aware. Um, but anyway, back to 2022, you came back. Yes. 
we got married. We did. Stress, um, stressful uh, three days or two days when I landed. First day I landed. Um, the first day you landed, we went to we went to lunch. We went to lunch. We went to dinner. Yes, we did. Was it dinner? We was dinner. Then you went home. Yes, and then we talked. It was dinner. It was yeah, dinner. yeah. I think you met me at the office. Yes. I, you came to my office yes, and then yes, yes, we yes, went. Yes, we yes, we yes, had yes. dinner and then we separated. He came home. I went home. Mm. Um, the second day that was a that was a Wednesday. The Thursday. Yeah. I can't even remember. That was we just, the we're Thursday. Just you around. slept at my house. I don't remember what we were doing during the day, but the Thursday in the afternoon we met up. We met up in the afternoon because yeah. I, I think I had to take my laptop in. I had to take my laptop in. Okay. Yeah. No, I took my laptop in on Friday. Friday. It wasn't working on Friday because it was me, you, and Zaza. Remember, you guys were parked oh, downstairs. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And I went yeah. upstairs. True. That was Friday, story. and then we went to Samson and we did all the admin. Oof. Yes. Cut so Thursday. Yes, Thursday. Yes, so yes, Thursday yes, we yes. met up, um, and he came. He, I don't know how we met up. I can't even remember. Yeah. But we ended up at our favorite restaurant in Centurion, which is Parrots, um, and we just ate and had a good time. And then time was running out. Yes. Um, so when you have good time. So then he was like to me, "I must call my mom." I said. Oh yes, that it sounds like, like me. Yes, I said she must call her mom so that he to could let sleep her know over. that he sleep over because there was no way I that was he was going to come back. back yeah, yeah it was, was late. It was, that late, was very late. late. And um, mind you, behind the scenes, they're planning to like our friends and family are planning to like come yeah, to our so house and like ha, come and sing so and like you know yeah. oversumsy like yep, yeah like yep, they yep. must know that there's a wedding yep. coming up you know. So we didn't know that. It was a surprise. So mm -hmm. I, I'm like, I'm not calling. I'm not doing that. If you if you're raised by a Kosa mom, <laughs> you would know. I'm not calling my mom to tell her that my man is coming to sleep at our house. No. So the man's the man's man had to make the call. The <laughs> so the I went to the bathroom. The call. The I left him. I'm like, I'm going to the bathroom. You better make this call while I'm gone because I don't want to hear it. So I went to the bathroom and you made the call. And what did you say? I, I just called my mom. I was like, listen, by, your his, son, by my mom, he means my mom. Yeah, your son needs a place to crash because the plan is for him to be this side tomorrow. Yeah. What do you say? She's like, no problem, my son. Come through. In I, fact, where are you guys? I, Leave there not. right now. I was like, because remember, they have this plan yes. in hindsight that, like, not in hindsight, but they have this plan at the back of this back of the scenes that they're gonna come and like do this whole mm. thing so my mom was like people are starting to arrive and where are you guys like just come but she's not telling us What's going that on? people are arriving she just said yeah. no guys come home it's late now you know um so i came back and i was like what did my mom say she was like and then he was like um let's go and i was like cool so we we went back home yeah and um yeah and then people came and they were singing and they brought scones and juice and oh, it was just a good time yeah Nice, yeah, nice. Then and then we slept. We did. He slept in my brother's room, and I slept in my room. Yeah, <laughs> out of respect, out of respect. Yeah, out of respect. You don't wanna, yeah, you know. But, anyways, yeah, then Friday, you know, we had to do a lot of running around. She had to go and get her hair done. Um, no, not my hair. Friday, wasn't my hair. Wasn't your hair? Oh, was I did my hair, my hair, my nails Saturday. Oh, we, we had to do no. We were supposed photos. to do it on Friday. That's why you did. That's, that's why you did it on Saturday because you were supposed to do it on Friday. No, I was never supposed to do it on Friday. Your hair. My hair was never supposed to be done on Dust. Friday because it's a natural hairstyle. I had to do it in the evening, the day before, mm. the evening of the yeah. So that and I wasn't gonna sleep that well because you guys know Oi. I can sleep like this. But yeah. Oh no no. On yeah. Friday we were supposed to do admin in terms of signing. We were yes. supposed to sign on Friday. Yes. We were supposed to. Go get our photos taken for our um the forms that you fill in they need yes, I, id I photos do, yes. we had to get um copies of our ids and get them certified yes, um he had to get his haircut he had to alter his suit yes um oh also friday um, oh we we're supposed to get candles and true and pieces. everything that you see here guys this had to come. Oh yeah, this Friday was delivered well. on Friday. Yes. So, so I had to put everything. Our bed. Yes. We bought a new bed. We bought a new headboard. Headboard. Um, the side tables that you side see. Tables, yes. Um, there's a little thing, couch thing that you don't see, but in front of us, it's like a storage. Yeah. 
Try and don't you kissed. You kissed Kuti. I don't yeah, know what no, it's called. No, no, true, true. Kissed. Yeah, you yeah, kissed. No, no, kissed. So, um, yeah, that's, so that's, that's, yeah, and then we had to go get Zaza and I, ah, oh, guys, Zaza and I had to go get, um, our centerpieces. So our candles that we had as centerpieces, um, and just small stuff like his headband thing. He didn't have one and the stick he was holding on the day. Mm -hmm. Um, my, you need shoes as well and a shirt. <laughs> shoes, shirt, my son's, um, all stars that he was wearing mm -hmm. on the day. Day before. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah, that's that's yeah. Friday. Yeah. Saturday you went to church. I didn't. I did. Oh. You went to yes. Rosebank. Yes. Um, I didn't go to church. Um to I had to do out. everything else. I had to do my nails, yes. I had to do my feet, I had to do my hair. Um and there was small stuff that we need to get like a ring because I, my ring didn't arrive on time. Mm. So we needed to get a prop ring, we needed to get um popcorn bags so we didn't have rice or anything we had popcorn that was thrown up so we need to get the bags that the popcorn would sit in um we need to get the popcorn itself um yeah things like that what do you guys know about the wedding it seems like we're dwelling on the wedding yeah, yeah 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 then Let's after that guys after the wedding. <laughs> we shifted. i mean from friday leading up to sunday it was crazy and i'm sure yeah every married couple can relate yeah. to the build-up towards the wedding like you want to just hide your head in the ground yeah but you, when the day you want to sleep comes oh my gosh like so many good things happen on that day we didn't even remember half the people that were even there like, yeah we couldn't i even um connect with our friends and say how have you guys been it was, yeah like there was no yeah it was a hectic yeah. it was hectic but, we, but maybe we'll do like a video for like tips for wedding planning no oh. and we could do that like a sit down video yeah, yeah. yeah. but how anyway we, yeah how we went about it though <laughs> how we went about it and then fast forward to i moved in yes. here home um and well i had packed my things Already. were packed and brought on the day, to, on the day of the wedding so they yeah. were brought to the venue so um i, we, I moved in here mm -hmm. uh we stayed um september october november yeah excuse me i think beginning of november that's when limano left yes to bloom yes so limano went to go spend time with his grandparents in bloom and then we really started enjoying like married being life. married and like being together yeah. not that we weren't enjoying when limano was here but it was a lot more crazier mm -hmm. and we didn't get time to like enjoy ourselves as yeah. a married couple yeah but we did so, we still um, do we still are still enjoying are. um and then december we traveled a little bit those yeah, are the vlogs that you saw yeah. um so you guys yeah so you guys spent december with us so you yeah. know that part january we came home there was a funeral in, in our family and we had to come home quickly and get all that sorted and then um and then our in-laws or my in-laws left mm -hmm. his parents my in-laws they left and then we're here yeah this so that's that was a journey of yeah 2022 2022 in leading into 2023 mm -hmm. and um that's what i say guys uh let's not take god for granted mm. you know in our daily lives in the things that we want for him mm -hmm. or the things that we want for ourselves you know mm -hmm. maybe we need to actually think more about God than ourselves mm -hmm. you know um, because without him a lot of things wouldn't have come together yeah for sure us. for sure you know? and I think <coughs> that's what was one of the things that we're trying to uh, build in terms of uh, this year making our relationship uh, much more tighter with God you know so that yeah just tight things are just yeah, screwed you know screwed. so that he can be our foundation, mm. our light, our path, mm. and our guide. You know, um, that's one of the biggest things that I took out of 2022. Mm. Um, for us to be where we are today was not by our own might, not our own understanding, but through uh, His mercy and His love and His grace that He has for us. And we hope that He continues to do that in our lives and through us so that you may see that yeah. i was saying um 
I think it was on my status the other day or to Mandy. I can't even remember. But I was saying I've met such genuine people in 2022. At the end of 2022, beginning of 2023. Such genuine people. And I mean genuine in their love for God and their service and yeah. that. Um, so much so that they, they're so beautiful. Like when you look at them, you're like, yeah, you're so beautiful. It's and really not nice. because of what you have on yeah. the outside, but because of like God's glory shining through you. So that's 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 what I want God to do for me this year. I want to be beautiful, but not because but because of God within me. Like yeah. just genuinely and nice. And I want people to be relaxed in my presence. in my presence wow. and kind of like, you know, just a cool. more calm vibe. Yeah. But twenty twenty three guys, we're so excited for this year. Um, God has done so much already and we just so can't wait to see us, yes. uh, what he's going to do and and I'm saying that not because our lives are perfect and not because we have everything that we want like mm -hmm. there's so many things that we pray about daily that we want that we're persisting in prayer mm -hmm. about um, that we're have just... not come to fruition yet yeah. but uh, like I said in the beginning of this video I want to be grateful for the stage I'm Ooh. in at that particular mm -hmm. time and I'm so grateful for the stage like sometimes I'm like oh I wish I had this and then like the Holy Spirit kind of says but you have this though, you mm -hmm. know um, and this is something that you have been praying for for years and now you have it mm -hmm. um, so yeah we we are we're just living for now and kind of and kind of just in purpose ha! Hey, yeah that's true yeah. and kind of like getting yeah. used to being married yeah. and adjusting yes yeah. there's a lot of adjusting a lot of adjusting um and maybe we'll do a separate video on that i keep saying that i keep saying that <laughs> um but you know what there's a lot of adjusting and maybe i'll just summarize um when you live with a person right there's things that you're used to doing mm -hmm. and there's things that he's used to doing and now you come together and you're like what are we doing <laughs> like, there are days I'm looking at him and I'm like, what? <laughs> like, why are you doing that? I don't understand. <laughs> but that's him. That's what he's used to doing. That's yeah. his routine. And so it's just been about kind of building a routine together. Yeah, it, yeah. As opposed to having, yes, we've got things that we do separately. Yeah, which are important. Guys. Yeah, which are important because you need your time by yeah. yourself. But yes. um, there are things that we're now incorporated doing together. Breakfast. Boom. Breakfast. Is one of them devotion is another one of them um so yeah um but we're excited for 2023 um i don't have a word for this year every year i have a word i don't have a word for this year i rather i rather have a phrase and that would be trying to be in the moment and appreciating the stage that i'm in in life that's that's my phrase for the year trying to be in the moment yeah yeah be in the moment yeah so that i appreciate so when other things come that i've been praying for yeah. i'm like you know, I'm in awe of what God's doing. Because if you're always looking forward to the next thing, you never get to kind of sit yeah. and appreciate what you have. Yep. So I want to kind of, I want to be grateful. I want to be more grateful this year. I want to be in the moment. I want to appreciate the stage. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Be more in the moment. I think for me, like, I, like I've mentioned, more gentle, more yeah. kind, more peaceful myself and those around me um, yeah man you know just being more um, attentive to other people's needs mm -hmm. before my own mm -hmm. you know and if you're married you would know that in marriage is service yes I'm in constant service of my husband he's yes. in constant service of me yes. so when he says that he means in terms it's not that he's neglecting himself yes I just wanted to clarify that he's not <laughs> neglecting himself but yeah, yeah, yeah in that mindset of marriage you, you're constantly service. in service of yeah. the other person and if you don't like to serve don't get married because Ooh. you're going to be in trouble i almost said a bad word you're going to be in trouble <laughs> <laughs> wow <laughs> all I'm right sorry. guys Let's watch this guy i, I think can't, yeah I can't let's leave. close it there guys we what really about plans for 2023 i will guys just quickly okay cool um Obviously, guys, uh, more, more money. 
Because <laughs> more money. Because uh, his wife likes money. Oh, yes. Uh, he loves money too. Yeah, 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 yeah. My husband gets so happy when he has money in his car. He's just Ooh. like, what yes. do you want? Yes! Where can we go? Like, <laughs> I love that. Yes, so more money, um, more genuine connection. In fact, um, establishing relationships with or prioritizing relationships with human beings mm. that are important, to you. are important to you and who want to grow as well. Um, and uh, just like, yeah, I know more, more opportunities mm -hmm. um, in terms of my career and not necessarily me traveling, but also like other aspects in my career, mm -hmm. you know, and yeah. My, Album. Oof. Yeah, there's that too. I keep sleeping on that. And I'm sure you guys are really upset with me about that. Guys, but and it's not me. I've been pushing for this um, album since the day I met him. Yeah. I promise. That's true. And yeah, just loving my wife more. You know, <laughs> and my son. Yeah. More. What about um, my, my, my baby number two? Well, that one is it's still in my... Guys, can I tell you something? <laughs> It's still we go in motions with yeah, this thing. So in and out, in if and you out. don't know, we do have a son that we had prior to getting married. He is turning three this year. Yep. Um, and a lot of people have been saying this is a good age gap. This is a good time to have yeah. a second baby. Um, but for us, we still want to enjoy. I mean, I don't know what God is. Like, I'm not sure what God is thinking about this. But yeah, I think for us, we still want to have time. Yeah. We still need time. Yeah. Um, we go in motions in the sense that some days like wanting a baby is really like Hi. we really want another baby and then some days it's like eh one baby's okay like we literally go in motions yeah. every day is different today how do you feel today like at this exact moment one is enough yeah that's that's <laughs> i was about to say so that's how i feel right now right now i'm good. feeling like one and done yeah. i'm feeling like we don't need another child um in, in fact just to add on that we still need more time with our son yeah. That's why yeah, yeah. it's stretching it out. Yeah. But maybe ask us again, like two, three years. <laughs> hey. I think we're gonna say two, three months. Hey, two, two three, three years. years. Hey. Hey. Um <laughs> but I I for sure for the reasons of him being a part of the pregnancy bed at this mm, time and of course. Yeah. and having a sibling for our son mm. and growing this family because you know the one thing that they said to me, like at my bridal shower just before I got married was that you're marrying into a very small family. So one of your priorities should be to grow yeah. this family. So that's the thing that's always at the back of my mind. Mm. Maybe that's my purpose in this family, but also I'm just like, do I want to do it again though? Mm. Do I want to, I would do pregnancy again. I say this all the time. I loved being pregnant. Um, even though I wasn't pregnant for long because our baby was premature, mm -hmm. but I loved being pregnant. And so I would do pregnancy again, but do I want to do the whole newborn, the whole, Ah, you after, know, after, after mm, it's a lot. If you're a parent, you know, like the trying to breastfeed, the depression that comes after you give birth, the um, the changes. struggles of body changes, the the baby just trying to communicate with you and you not mm -hmm. understanding what they want. Like you would change a nappy, burp them, f like feed them, burp them, bath them. They're good. Give them massages. Like create a nice environment environment for them to fall asleep like just have a warm bottle for them and baby would be crying like screaming and you're like i don't i don't know what else to do for you like i've done everything i can you know like there's a lot that comes with the newborn and the sleepless nights no no <laughs> so right now i'm at that stage i'm like i was even watching a favorite youtuber of mine her name is kayla buell um, she is pregnant with her third right now. And I was saying to Leanna, I don't know how she, did, like, I know that her husband didn't want to have another one after they have two, because they have two, one girl and one boy. And honestly, that to me, that looks like the perfect life. But like, for you to decide to have another, a third one? Yeah, she told her face that it's not gonna happen. Uh-uh. I said, baby number one, sure. Baby number two, you can convince me. Baby number three, stop. Yes, it's not happening. But yeah, that's that's us right now. So no baby number two, please Jesus. Mm. Um, for the next coming years, maybe we can talk about it in twenty twenty five. Maybe we can start a conversation in twenty twenty five. But for now, I think one is okay. Yeah. One but yeah, for me, um, 
work i want to do better in my career um um i just want to be a better friend also mm. um because with getting married there's like that dynamic yeah. where you're like like i'm with my best friend but i've also got friends you know so yeah. i want to be a better friend um i want to be a better person mm. just in general like i just mm. want to be i just want to be a better person so cool. yeah. yeah um and I, I wanna, I don't wanna go back to my pre-pregnancy. I'll see if I can find a picture for you guys and maybe put it here. Mm -hmm. This would be my pre-pregnancy weight. I don't know if I wanna go back to that, but I definitely wanna lose this mar happy marriage weight, baby weight. Cause my, my baby weight and my happy weight, they weren't separated, like they all came together. So, um, yeah, uh, yeah, those, that's my 2023. Mm. Putting all that in God's hands, obviously he has the final say on how yep. the year is going to look. But um, yeah, guys, that's it from us. I think that's it from us, guys. Uh, please, guys, if you do love our content, please make sure that you like, subscribe, comment, share, and all those great things. Um, we do really do appreciate you guys uh, for taking your time. Yeah, your precious your time. data to watch. Yeah us try and give you content that is relatable and that can also edify you in your journey not necessarily just being married but just as a person as yeah. well you know we're not just putting out content for married people we're putting out content for the youth all the human beings you know <laughs> but our focus is like the youth because we believe that there's power there and that's the future uh, and that's where we are of our generation we're you know? the youth we're there you know so please make sure that you send it and share this content with your friends yeah. and families we highly appreciate that and um i'm leander 